Hi everyone, I hope you're as well as possibly can be. Uh, CSF Leak Association asked me to do a follow-up video and that's from the last one that I did about four years ago. That was filmed about three weeks before I was going back into surgery after a more of a conservative test and, and see if it worked surgery that, that happened about a month before that. Um, this surgery was more complex. It came with higher risk. The reason why the risk was there was because he was cutting away the nerves from the spinal cord that were associated with the venous fistula. It was a bit of a theory, hadn't been done before, and there was obvious risks attached to that. And, and I just said to the surgeon, go all the way until you, th you think it's done. Just go the whole hog. So he spent seven hours doing it. So it was quite a long surgery. When I woke up, uh, I had a, a completely new understanding of rebound high pressure. It was horrific. It was a much, much worse pain than, than the low pressure. And there was nothing to ease it. Obviously, laying, laying down doesn't, doesn't do anything for high pressure. But when he did the surgery, he took away uh, two levels of lamina. So a double laminectomy just to gain access. And he could see the CSF pumping out of Majora. So he reckons that the, the it was leaking at a rate of about a litre and a half per day. So plugging it up, there, there was obviously a lot of pressure. They were actually worried I was going to go blind. So I stayed in hospital for a number of weeks, literally just in a fetal position, crying, sweating. I didn't know if it was night or day. Anna was staying in a hotel nearby, visiting any hour that she was allowed to, bringing the kids over. Uh, which which really helped. They were absolutely great. It was a it was a tough time for them too, um, but came out of hospital very very frail. Lost a lot of weight and and muscle. And recovery took a long time. It took about eight months from from them. Uh, and and I helped me through it. She nursed me. I moved in with her. And uh, you know I had. Um, uh, I had a place in, in the bedroom with, with where I ate food and, and I didn't have to leave the bed. She did absolutely everything and I, I owe her so much. She really was uh, a diamond. Um, and uh, But we got through it to the point where I feel back to normal, um, you know, pre-leak well. Uh, I, yeah, there's a, there's a few symptoms going on still now and... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll share that with you. I, I'm a bit headachey here and there. I take a paracetamol here and there. It's nothing like it was. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, uh, it's just a bit headachey. If there's a change in weather system, I get a higher or a low pressure headache, which is, which was more worrying at the start because I didn't know it was to do with the weather. But apparently if you have brain damage or if you've gone through a leak and has been kind of bruising, your brain is hypersensitive to stuff like that. So. Um, that was a bit scary. I haven't been on a, haven't been on a plane actually since being fixed. So I don't know how that's going to affect things, but weather certainly does. I also have complete numbness from my spine round to my chest on my left side. And that's where they removed all the, the nerves, which felt weird at first, but you know, I'm kind of used to it now. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to the, to the time when I can freak someone out in a bar brawl or something and stump out a cigar on my chest and just laugh because it is completely numb. I can't feel a thing. So, uh, look forward to that day. Uh, in terms of, uh, activity wise, you're probably going to be messaging me saying that I'm, I'm doing too much and I'm taking too much risk and stop. And you, you know, you can't do BLT and all this stuff. I'm doing absolutely everything. I'm enjoying myself. I'm living my best life uh, and, and it was well worth it. I didn't go through that journey to get fixed just to sit back and, and worry about being uh, uh, ill again. So I'm literally enjoying every minute I possibly can and I'm having a great time. You know, we're doing hiking, skiing, rock climbing, paddle boarding, canoeing. Uh, we're, yeah. we're taking wild camping gear at the top of the mountain and sleeping there. We're just having an amazing time. I'm playing with the kids, I'm a dad again. Uh, they can't remember me being ill, which is which is really really good. Um, they remember they remember slight memories of of putting their hands on my head because Daddy was was laying on a couch, but they don't really remember how bad it was. So I'm really thankful for that, and uh, I'm I'm the dad that I wanted to be now. So I'm making up for lost times. So that's fantastic. Um, the trigeminal neuralgia that I had in the leak has gone. 
that well, that went like three days after I, I I finished the surgery actually. So it's definitely related to the leak. I know it was a bit of a theory in some people's minds whether they were connected. Definitely, definitely is. Um, and um, so everything's all good. Um, I hope this video brings you some kind of hope. I know what it's like. I know it's a really, really dark hole that you guys are in, especially for those who have been leaking for a long period of time. Uh, but even for the ones that have just started and they're just learning that some people have been leaking for years and they can't imagine it going on that far. Listen, there is hope and you know you can get fixed. Knowledge and education in the, in the field has, has grown exponentially since I was first diagnosed five and a half years before I got fixed. You know, it, hopefully your clinician knows that it's not about conservative intervention. Uh, venous fistulas do exist and they need to be checked. Uh, and this can be surgically fixed, hopefully for, for good. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely treating it as if it is for good. So listen, guys, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you um, have as much fun as you possibly can. I know it's, it's hard when you're going through uh, a leak symptoms but but chin up guys and uh let me know if you if you if you want any advice or or, or information about the the surgery i had uh, you know you can message me on facebook I, I don't mind answering questions but yeah have a have a good time with your family over this festive period and uh stay well guys bye